They are not a traditional Sotheby's product. When most think of the famous auction house founded in 1744, sneakers aren't what comes to mind. Well, times change. For collectors in the sneaker category, in some cases, it's not about wearing the shoes. Um, they view this as works of art. The auction house was selling 100 pairs of shoes, some of the rarest sneakers ever produced. There's a pair that was made for the movie Back to the Future, one pair owned by fashion icon Karl Lagerfeld, and another was a limited edition for New York Yankees retirement. Fewer than 40 of them were created. Now, they were all supposed to go on sale this week, but a Canadian stepped in early. Toronto entrepreneur, philanthropist, and collector Miles Nadal heard about the auction and jumped. This is part of his collection back in his museum at home. He never collected shoes. He'd only read about the sale two weeks ago, but he was interested. I believe you're just at the infancy of sneakers being recognized as iconic design, art, and pop culture objects. Nadal tried to buy the entire collection in one fell swoop. He paid just over $1.1 million and got all of them except one single pair. They're called the Nike Moon Shoes, and the seller wanted them to go to auction. They are one of the original pairs made by one of the founders of Nike in 1972. He was the Oregon State track coach, uh, and he was making these sneakers with a waffle iron, literally. Well, Nadal didn't get them at first. He was still free to bid and did. $575,000. I didn't want to own 99 shoes. I wanted to own the entire collection. There is no bigger story today in the growing sneaker market than Nadal's purchase. The owner of this boutique in Montreal says he'd rather have the moon shoes than any painting or fancy car. Like you're holding a part of history. Every shoe right now is inspired by that. The collection's price tag isn't the only thing worth noting. Nadal's going to bring the shoes to his museum in Toronto, making this perhaps the biggest case of cross-border shopping for sneakers in history. Certainly a long-standing Canadian tradition. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.